Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at offline states inside Liver. It's a feature very similar to loading states, except it allows you to display something or an HTML element to the user when they don't have internet connection. And it's managed by the JavaScript, so it, is, it works all the time. So let's go ahead and see an example. I, what I want to do is I want to show a warning at the top when the user loses their internet connection to let them know that our application requires internet, okay? So uh, I'm going to go on Flowbyte. I have the link in the description, guys. And I'm going to copy the warnings alert here. So just like this. And in order for loading states, sorry, offline states to work, guys, you need to make sure you always have it inside your library component. So outside of it, it won't work. Just something to keep in mind. Unless you're using full page components. That's a different case, right? So I'm going to go inside my component, add this kind of alert over here. Now, by default, obviously, it's going to be showing. Now, in order to make it not be visible when the user is offline, now in this case, because I do have some flex and some classes on it, I'm going to wrap it around the container. Sometimes a uh, wire offline kind of doesn't work if you have some uh, display CSS classes on your element. So always wrap it around uh, with a div and then, or put it inside a div. And then here I can say wire offline, offline. This is exactly similar to how we did wire loading, right? And I'm not sure if I'm using wire loading on this page. No, I'm not. But this will make it so it's only visible when the user is offline. So right now, by default, it's gone. I'm going to open up the developer tools. And let me zoom in so you guys can see. So we are on fast 3G. I'm going to go offline and boom, it shows up. Okay, so very easy and convenient. It's just a way to let your users know when they don't have internet connection. Uh, to kind of let them know why the functionality on your page isn't working. Okay because a lot of it depends on internet connection, right? It's not like Vue.js or React, your components won't work. So one more thing we can do guys as well is kind of similar to wire uh, loading, you can do wire offline.remove. And this is kind of the opposite of, it's kind of similar to wire loading remove. It will remove an element when we are offline, right? So, but functionality wise, it works very similar, okay? So maybe I don't want to show my list when we are offline. Okay, so maybe this entire list or maybe the input bar. Okay, I don't want to show the input bar when we are offline. So I'm going to say wire offline remove. So remove it when we are offline. And here I'm going to say wire offline. So we show it when we are offline. So let's take a look. I'm going to go to 3G and do a quick reload. So by default, we basically see the list and we don't see an offline state. I'm going to go offline. We lost our input, so we no longer have the ability to search, and we also get the warning, right? So that's the uh, wire offline and then wire offline remove. Now, you also have a few other ones, such as class. So uh, the way it works is I'm going to get rid of the wire offline for a second. You can also toggle on and off a class on an element when they're offline. So you can say wire offline.class, and this will add a class when, a user, uh, when the user is offline. So here I'm going to go ahead and what kind of class can I give it? Let's do reload and I'm going to show it here. So by default, I would like to show this warning, but when we are offline, maybe I'm going to go ahead and change the background color. Okay. So here I'm going to say, or maybe we can increase uh, the margin top, right? Let's give it margin top 10, some crazy number. Okay. So let's do reload. Now, by default, it looks the same. If I go offline, we get some margin top, right? So you can add a class when the, you know, the user is offline. There is also the opposite of it. You can do wire class to remove. So it will remove a class when the user is offline. And maybe I want to remove the background. By default, we have BG yellow LG. I'm going to remove it, okay? So we don't have a background when we are offline. So let's go online again. Reload. We see it. I go offline. The background should go away. As you can see, we lose the background when we are offline. So you can go ahead and play around with these. I personally have probably never used this color, but maybe you want to let the user know when they're offline, maybe show a red, change the background to red, something like that. So it depends on your use case. And last thing guys you can do is also you can do wire offline.attr and this will go ahead and add an attribute when the user is offline. Now the most common use case probably is going to be on a button. So uh, if I were to have a button, maybe these view buttons, what you can do is you can go ahead and do wire attr.disabled and this will go ahead and disable your buttons. Okay. And we can kind of do an example here. I'm going to go add a button, uh, search. 
and add it on my button. So let's do reload, uh, bring it back onto fast 3G. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see, and the button looks very ugly. So let's give it some uh, styles if we can. I'll copy it from here. All right, so now we have the search button, and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see better. If I hover over it, you can see it's clickable, right? Now, if I go offline, it's going to be disabled, so it's not going to be clickable. Anymore. And you can see it by the hand uh, pointer, right? So I'm going to go ahead, go offline. Now, if I go over it, as you can see, guys, it, it no longer shows the hand, okay? So it's not clickable, and I'm trying, nothing happens. So you can generally do it to maybe disable the form submission so the users don't get any unnecessary errors or exceptions, things like that, and disable all your buttons when they're offline. It's a very niche use case. I personally haven't used it that much, but something that is there if you need it. And that's it, guys, for today's episode. By the way, Liver 3 is officially out, so there is the stable version is out. And so I'm going to be making more videos and covering things like why navigate, uh, child components, things like that. In the upcoming videos, I was waiting for the stable release to come out and all the bugs to be fixed. And that's it, guys. I see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I see you guys on the next video. Bye.